Hi, my name is Jimmy Forsyth, and I am the project technical lead for ANEI, which stands for Active and Available Inventory. Modern networks are complex and difficult to manage. ANEI provides the view that operators need in order to fully understand and have insight into those networks by providing a centralized repository of the kinds of network services that ONAP is delivering. By providing the central view, operators get live insight into the data to show how services, networks, VNFs are connected and how they're related. In the virtual world, services and networks are being instantiated and torn down much faster than they ever were in the world of physical networking. ANEI, by being in the center of the instantiation flow, can provide the kind of real-time insight into what's actually happening in the network, giving operators the kinds of data that they need in order to fully understand the scope and breadth of their network. So at design time, SDC will create a model uh, which will be common to all the ONAP systems. When that model is distributed to ANAI, it provides the framework by which the other systems that talk to ANAI can uh, interrogate, provision, and uh, communicate with ANAI. We can string together familiar types into new services that didn't exist when ONAP was designed. ANAI is unique because instead of having to have fixed APIs that you know, will only change on specific release boundaries, users can define new services that can be imported into ANAI in real time, and suddenly that service is now available. This is a revolution in the way that we think about how to do modeling. The distribution of the model to ANAI and to all of the systems that interrogate ANAI and provision the data into ANAI, since they all share the same common model, those services can be assembled on the fly, and then these systems that actually call ANAI can speak a common language of a dynamically driven model-based inventory. The controllers and the orchestrators use the data that's in ANAI to make decisions about what goes where, how much goes where, and how much is already out there. So in a typical service instantiation flow, VID, Virtual Infrastructure Deployment, will contact ANAI to determine the set of subscribers that are, are currently in the system. Using that set of customers, we can know what kind of services that customer already owns and what kind we can deploy. So in VID, user picks what kind of service to instantiate and then vid contacts SO. SO then um, goes and creates the service and then puts the data in ANAI. Vid then will query ANAI again, discover what was provisioned, make sure that the uh, service actually made it to ANAI, and then provide new options based on the model that was used to create the service. This may tell you how many VNFs can be installed, what kinds of VF modules would be allowed. Um, all this is, is learned from the model which is shared by ANAI, VID, and SO. VID then can create a VNF under that service, send the request to SO. SO then does the work and then pushes the data into ANAI. So now we know where in the process the VNF is. So when you're essentially in the service, VID will contact ANAI to determine the active set of VNFs and services for that customer. Then um, based on uh, the, the existing services and what model they've been provisioned with, it knows you know, what kinds of things will be allowed and prevents, presents that to the user. The user then uh, chooses the service type or the VNF or the VF module, and then uh, that kicks off the request to SO. So as VID and SO work together to build the service, they interrogate ANAI to find out what's currently provisioned for that customer. And then 
make decisions about what is possible to add to it. What kind of VNFs, what kind of services, what kind of networks will be allowed to be provisioned based on the common model and the data that's in ANAI. So once the VID and SO have made the placement decisions for the service or the network or the VF module or the VNF, then SO will update ANAI with the most current data from the network. This allows the next decision to be made and the next after that.